So what is neurosemantics? Now, neurosemantics was founded in 1994, and it's really a series of updates on the NLP model. So in 1994, what happened was that Dr. Michael Hall, one of the co-founders of neurosemantics, and the most prolific author in the field of neurolinguistic programming, he's published over 70 books, uh, probably 80 or 90 books at this point. He literally published a new book this week on thinking hypnotically. And what he discovered was what you can see here on the screen, if you can see my mouse, was the metastates model. You ever get frustrated at yourself for, for something? You did something that you didn't want to do anymore, you get frustrated with yourself. Has that ever happened before? You've never gotten frustrated with yourself? So you get frustrated with yourself. You ever get pissed off at yourself for getting frustrated with yourself? You ever get upset that you're pissed off, that you're frustrated? You ever get angry that you're upset, that you're pissed off, that you're frustrated? You ever been so afraid of your anger that you're pissed off, that you're upset, that you're frustrated with yourself? So in the world, we don't just respond to the world itself. You don't just get frustrated because you're stuck in traffic. You respond to your responses. You get angry at yourself for getting frustrated in traffic because you should know better. And then you get angry at yourself for getting angry at yourself because you should, you should know better. And then you get pissed off at getting angry at getting angry at yourself because you're frustrated, because you're stuck in traffic. And so these kind of uh, what we call meta, meta states are states about our states. We're not just uh, happy. We're love that we're happy. We're not just calm. We are excited that we're calm. You ever been excited that you're calm before? Isn't that amazing that we can do that as human beings? And with this discovery of metastates, of self-reflexive consciousness, it opened up the whole entire realm of modeling self-reflexivity and metacognition. And since then, the field of neurosemantics has added many new models and hundreds of new patterns and processes and techniques as it continues to lead out in the field of neurolinguistic programming. Elvira, yes, it's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. And this is a uniquely human skill, by the way. Uh, most other animals on this earth can maybe go up one or two levels. But as human beings, we can go up uh, infinitely. We can always think about our last thought. And this ability here, if you can look on the diagram, this kind of green circle, what that is is that's the power of transcendence. That's the power of you to transcend yourself and think again. And, and these metastates, they create amazing things. Like with these metastates, courage, for example. Courage is not a primary state. You cannot feel courage directly at anything. Because in order to create courage, that little yellow circle in the middle there, you have to be afraid of something. You have to be afraid. If you're not afraid of snakes and you go and pick up a snake, is that courage? Not really, right? That courage, optimism, uh, on the bright side of things, we've also got anxiety. You can't have anxiety about a, a, a tiger in front of you. That's called fear. But if you imagine a tiger and you feel fear about it, that's anxiety. If you imagine a fear and you feel fear about it. So there's a lot of human experience which is built upon our ability to be self-reflexive, our ability to think about our thoughts, to feel about our feelings, to respond to our responses. And that's what the field of neurosemantics has opened up over the past 26 years across the field of NLP as it continues to model new excellences and, and really with a focus on self-actualization about how we can really unleash our highest and best potential. So it's more than just goal achievement. It's more than, well, what do you want? I want to be in a relationship. Uh, well, there might be more. What do you want? I want to lose 50 pounds. Well, okay. We can just uh, amputate a couple of body parts. Uh, I am selling a new program, how to lose 50 pounds in five minutes or less. We just need a really strong saw. So there's, there's more than just getting what you want in life. Have you ever gotten what you wanted in life and still been upset by it? I can imagine that most people have had that experience. You've gotten exactly what you wanted and you weren't satisfied. And that's because what you wanted was not aligned with what you needed. And that's where self-actualization comes in. 